Hey there, it's Art by C. Today I'm just going to talk about how to break into a new sketchbook. Um, sometimes the blank white pages kind of intimidate me, so if you add a few things like a string to keep your place, a pocket, a few goals, contact information, and a decorated cover, it helps to be a little less intimidated by the sketchbook. Here's another example that just kind of shows more of a mixed media type cover. Um, there's really multiple ways you can do it. And the next one I show just has a few stickers, one I created, a few from a different places. So the example I'm going to show you today is just an original painting. Um, so I'm just going to show a time lapse of me painting this and then we'll get on to the other fun stuff. So really quickly, if you're just choosing to do a painting like me, um, first I sketched the painting that I was going to do. And then I added a thin layer of gesso just so that my paints wouldn't absorb into the material. So another fun little touch is to add your name followed by sketchbook or a nickname or your Instagram username. Um, this just helps to characterize your sketchbook and make it feel like yours even more. Okay, so this is a really, really important tip no matter what kind of cover you're doing. Make sure you purchase a sealer. You can buy them at Walmart, Matt, or Gloss. Just make sure you seal your artwork on the front so that wherever you go it's not damaged. I forgot to film it but I outlined everything in white and now I'm just going back in and adding some paint splatters and the negative space just to give a bit more interest. Um, this is totally optional. Whatever you feel like needs to be added to your piece. Next I just included the little sheet that said how many pieces of paper there were and the weight. Now I'm going in and writing the date that I started the sketchbook and eventually when I finish the sketchbook I'll also write the date that I ended it. It's just kind of a fun thing to record your progress. So this is just a little fun touch and I like to write my goals for this sketchbook. Um, it can be really anything you want to work on. These are just some of the things that I felt like I needed some work on. So now I'm just adding my contact information in case I ever lose my sketchbook. I decided it would just be easier to include a business card, so I just taped it right in the corner. Now 
Now with just these few little touches, it already feels a lot more personal. Um, these definitely are things that are meant to help you along your journey of creating art. Now I'm just adding a pocket. I just chose a piece of scrap paper from my mixed media bin that I thought was kind of cool. I'm using tacky glue and gluing the sides of it so that it'll obviously create a pocket. Um, you can stick tickets in here, business cards, really anything you pick up on your journey. So this part's pretty self-explanatory, but some of the sides got kind of sticky, so I'm just using a baby wipe and picking up the excess glue. Now I'm going in and adding a ribbon to keep my place with whatever page I'm on. Some books include the elements that I'm already adding, but if not, it's a nice touch to add them. So basically I just found this ribbon from a little pouch I got from like a Sephora play thing. I cut the ribbon out and I just glued it onto the back. So the next little tip I have for you is just to glue in or tape old sketches that you didn't put in your previous sketchbook. Maybe through the transitioning period of getting a new sketchbook you had to use loose paper. So just tape those in. The final tip I have for you is just to paste in any papers that you particularly like. For example, I really really like grid paper, so I'm just taking a sheet of that and putting it in my sketchbook. This helps to give the illusion of a fuller sketchbook, so you're not really starting with just white pages. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope some of these tips helped you to feel a little bit more comfortable with your sketchbook.